Hey, I think the name George Burns will go down in the history of show business as one of the all-time greats. Now, George started way back in the early days of vaudeville. In fact, George goes so far back, Ed Sullivan used to be in his audience. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my good friend, Mr. George Burns. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now for my opening song. And if you like it, I'll sing another one. And if you don't, I'll sing five. <laughs> That's in my key. I've been a thinking, a man named Lincoln. Dean, Dean, would you would you come out here a yes, minute? Sir, yes. yes. Dean, I've been, I've been, I've been, I've George, been. George, I just want to say you're looking younger every time. Every time I see you, you look younger. Well, you don't know how happy I am to hear you say that because lately I've been getting to have my doubts. Oh, not you, George. Well, I'll tell you, the bunch of us are sitting around the Hillcrest Country Club at that round table. There was Groucho and there was Jag Benny and there was there was there was Georgie Jessel and Jimmy Durante and myself. And then I took a look at us. And what's he was kidding? We did not look like the mod squad. Mm. <laughs> In fact, we didn't even look like Hogan's heroes. <laughs> we looked more like Mission Impossible. <laughs> George, now, you, you know, you got, the, you got the body of a 20-year-old. I know, because I've seen her in your car. <laughs> That's, 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 that's not true. Hmm? She's 19. Oh. <laughs> well, anyway, the bunch of us at this table, we do play nine holes of golf every day, but that's no exercise because we all rent carts and the caddies carry our bags. We ride and they walk. The caddies look great and we all look like Charles de Gaulle. <laughs> that we're at the point where we look bad with makeup on. <laughs> but... The kids have got it made today. You know, they have love-ins and love-outs and freak-ins and freak-outs, and they wear beads, and they, uh, they read poetry, and they smell flowers. Oh, well, you, you wouldn't want to be a kid again. Oh, no, no, no. But, but I wouldn't mind being 10, 10 years younger. Or 15. <laughs> Even 60 years younger, but not a kid again. Anyway, I said to these fellas, I said, instead of sitting around the table like this, let's all go to Griffith Park. Now, let's, 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 let's meet these kids. Maybe some of that youth will rub off on us, and maybe what we've got will rub off on them. If it doesn't drop off before we get there. <laughs> well, I finally convinced them, and the five of us left for Griffith Park, and not to look conspicuous. We all wore sandals and wide belts and love beats. Well, that must have been some sight. Well, <laughs> well Jessel wore his beads down the back because he didn't want to cover his medals. Oh, no. oh yeah. <laughs> and then Jack Benny carried his violin, and then and, and, and Groucho brought his guitar, and Jimmy Durante had an orchestration of Bill Bailey that was arranged by John Philip Sousa's father. <laughs> and and I, I wore my buckskin vest with the fringe around the bottom that Buffalo Bill gave me for my birthday. Hmm. See? I've never seen you with a fringe around your bottom. <laughs> never. <laughs> Only when I play Vegas. Oh. Well, anyway, we all arrived in Griffith Park, and it was quite a thrill. It was the first time any of us got such a big laugh without saying anything. We looked like a bunch of flower children who hadn't been watered in 40 years. <laughs> then we all sat down on the grass. That took a good 20 minutes. <laughs> Groucho never did make it. We had to prop him up against the tree. And I heard that the kids nowadays smoke grass. Mm -hmm. You know, so I took some grass, put it in my cigar holder, and I lit it. It's nothing. But that fertilizer is murder. <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of bad fertilizer going around. <laughs> I think I got it all. Well, then we started swinging. Jack played his violin, Groucho played his guitar, and Durante, Jessler, and myself started to harmonize the Betsy Ross rag. <laughs> then the police came. One cop said, what's going on here? What have you guys been drinking? I said, Geritol over the rocks. <laughs> he said, well, you'll have to break this up. The park closes at 8 o'clock. I said, it's only 4 o'clock in the afternoon. He says, by the looks of this group, it'll take you that long to get out of the park. Ah, <laughs> oh, that cop don't know you, George. He said he don't. Well, anyway, we did break it up. 
We got out of the park at five minutes after nine. <laughs> and Dean, would you like to join us? We're going back again next week. We forgot Groucho. He's still... Still at the tree? <laughs>